really appreciate this opportunity to participate in this very, very important conversation. Uh, we have uh, some connectivity issues here, so I'm going to actually uh, not even take the whole 10 minutes, but I did want to come on and say a few words. One of the things, though, I, I want to start off by uh, uh, reminding people of is I'm also the uh, one of the co-founders of the International uh, Coalition to Stop uh, Genocide in Palestine. I've uh, been doing uh, a lot of work recently uh, in dealing with this issue of the South African uh, petition to the International Court of Justice. There's a few things we want to, to share uh, from our perspective uh, from the Black Alliance of Peace. Uh, as many people might know, the Black Alliance of Peace is a, a, a coalition, uh, an alliance of groups of forces in the U.S. It is part of the uh, Black Liberation Movement. Uh, it is a, a movement uh, or an alliance, a formation that is attempting to try to recapture the traditional uh, radical uh, anti-war, uh, anti-imperialist thrust of our movement here uh, in the U.S. and really globally. Uh, so saying that, we want to be quite clear that even with this uh, uh, very, very important uh, provisional measures coming from the International Court of Justice, we agree with some of the concerns that we've heard uh, from other speakers in terms of uh, the potential of over-reliance on the, the international law component of this. Now, this is very important, what's coming out of the Hague, uh, because it's a process that continues the process of delegitimizing uh, the settler colonial project. Uh, and we understand also, too, is a, a something that can also lend, lend to and support some of the traditional opportunism we find with some of the NGO groups uh, internationally. Um, but it's important that we, we understand the, the what's important for this is that it helps with the fight back, uh, with the uh, mobilization efforts, uh, with the uh, identification of what should be seen as the uh, primary contradiction and the true enemies uh, of collective global humanity. We take the position from the Black Alliance for Peace that we don't get into a conversation about uh, this resistance group or that uh, among the Palestinian people. Uh, we say without apology, we support the resistance. Uh, how the Palestinians define that resistance is up to the Palestinians. One of the things we see as valuable is that this, this, this current uh, 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 horrific situation in Gaza has helped to completely strip away any veneer of respectability for the Israeli project and by extension, uh, US and Western imperialism. That the, uh, the true nature of this pro process and this project has been revealed. <clears throat> and we think that's a good thing. We say that what this allows us to do, and that is global civil society, if you will, is to, is to recenter the, the framework of the of settler colonialism and understanding of what is this pro what this project represents uh, and the global forces it represents also it helps us to uh to uh, come to the position that there is no more legitimacy no more ideological mystification uh, that can be effectively utilized by the west uh, around their notions of of liberalism uh, liberal philosophy and the li liberal theoretical framework that has been completely uh, exposed as the fraud that has always been. That is quite clear that they uh, have been willing to jettison uh, international law, jettison their so-called liberal values uh, in order to maintain uh, global white supremacist hegemony. That we think is a good thing that that's been finally uh, exposed. Uh, what's happening today affirms the in our opinion, the terms of, of struggle, the terms of the war being waged by the West against the colonized peoples of, of the world. It helps us to, again, recenter the notion of the fight for authentic decolonization, raising up the issues of national uh, oppression, understanding the connection between the struggles of, of uh, against national oppression and, and class. Uh, it helps us in the U.S. Uh, to strip away the veneer of respectability also, uh, to remind people of the settler colonial reality uh, of, the, of the U.S. 
Uh, and it, it helps all of us, in our opinion, as we sharpen our weapons for our struggle uh, to name the enemy of collective humanity. And we say quite clearly that the current enemies of collective humanity is represented by the powers of the West, what we refer, refer to as the US-EU-NATO axis of domination. Uh, we understand that the material basis of what became the West started in 1492 when Europeans spilled out of uh, Europe into the Americas and, and, and the material basis for what emerged as so-called Western civilization was, uh, of course, the, the conquering of the land and the slaughter of, it, of indigenous people uh, and the importation and enslavement of African people. Uh, we are now able to help people to understand that reality much better as a consequence of what is being, uh, un, what is being revealed uh, in, in, in Gaza uh, and in, with the Palestinian people. So as we go toward closure, that this is uh, a, a historical moment, is a moment of, of truth telling, is a moment though that we have to recenter what has to be done. And what has to be done is building more effective structures of resistance. And understanding that those structures have to be uh, interconnected, uh, that the task today is through is for organization and the intensification of the fight against Western imperialism. So we're here to take up that uh, fight to reaffirm our um, uh, um, our unreserved, un unwavering support for for the Palestinian people, and are pledging that we will deepen or attempt to deepen. Uh, the relationships of, of struggle, uh, of building effective organizations so that we can, in fact, engage in a struggle that will result in authentic decolonization globally. And I end there. Thank you. I'm Michael Hudson. I'm appearing here for the International Manifesto Group. If you like this video and want to like it, please subscribe. For more information, Go to the address on the screen.